Okay, welcome to another Ginger Math Petition video. So today I'm going to be predicting the IGCSE ADMAFs. So this is 0606 course with the exams coming on the 6th of October on the Friday and then the 9th of October on the Monday. So a big tight turnaround. Just like my previous prediction videos here, I have done a paper one and paper two prediction over the last 17 papers. So really give us some up-to-date information on what's appearing on the papers. So let's start with paper one here at 71%. So this is pretty often is permutations and combinations, one of the more difficult topics on the ADMAFS course. And you can see a sample question here in front of you. So making sure you can work with the factorial, working with these written situations and translating that into a permutations or combinations problem. Then we have radian measure at 71% as well. Very common, more common on paper one than on paper two here. You can see a sample question here in front of you. If you need to practice this particular topic, I've done a video. I really go into a deep dive on this topic. So check that out above. Logs here at 76%, so going into this almost certain category here. And interestingly with logs, they can appear as sub-questions of other topics. So this is a good example here, where I think we had a quadratics question, and then we had a little bit of part on logs at the end. Graph sketching is always very, very important on the ADMAFS course, and again, kind of paper one or paper two, it's no exception here. Make sure in particular, you can draw these trig functions. So remember what the sine X function looks like, and then what impact this three, the four, and the minus two has on the function in terms of stretching, uh, compressions, translations, and so on. Trig identities, again, is in my certain category here, it appears 100% of the time. Now, it's a little bit misleading here, trig identities. I also include trig equations in that here, and you can see a classic example here, question four, where you need to be able to work with sines and cosines with parts inside the function and be able to find all the solutions within the domain that is given. Quadratics, again, also sneaks into lots and lots of different questions here. You can see, for example, this question two here starts off from completing the square, working out stationary points from that, and then using your knowledge of the modulus function, which comes up pretty often on itself, to then combine all that together with some graph sketching. Of course, a big part of the ADMAFS course is your calculus, and of course, differentiation is going to be up there at a whopping 124%. It appears everywhere on the ADMAFS course. You can see usually towards the harder end of the paper, so you've got some quotient rule to deal with here for the five marks. If you really want to get the top grades on the ADMAFS course, then your differentiation needs to be really, really good and your integration as well, as these are certain topics and they generally come up at the end of the exam. So you can see of all the frequencies over the last 17 papers, exactly what has appeared. Be aware, things like sequence and series still appear almost 60% of the time. Vectors likewise, which I haven't mentioned, is at 65%. So really be careful about some of these often topics because they do come up often. So once you revise those tier one topics, those green and blue topics you see in front of you, make sure you focus on those often topics as well. And on to paper two, should say paper two here at the top. And the first thing I want to mention here, which I didn't mention in paper one, is the factor theorem at 65%, coming up quite often, usually involves factorizing some kind of cubic. So again, this is a very typical question you see in front of you. On to logs. Again, logs is also popular on the paper too. Uh, this actually follows on from the question I just showed you here. So once you've shown how to factorize this, then you need to use your knowledge of logs and exponentials in order to solve this related equation using this word hence. So using part B, use that to help you do part C. Sequences and series, again, also popular at 65%. Again, similar percentage to paper one. Again, this is a very typical question where they outline, is it geometric, is it arithmetic? And then to work out some features from that. Trig identities, again, is also important in paper two, just like in paper one. And notice it can be combined here. So they've got you to do a little bit of differentiation to work out a stationary point. And then you're going to use your knowledge of trig equations and trig identities to then solve the equation afterwards. Quadratics, again, sneaks into paper two 
a lot. This is a kind of classical question of working out real roots. So using the b squared more minus 4ac. But notice quadratics can also feature in other topics as well. So if there are big three topics to really practice a lot on AdMaths, it's your calculus, differentiation, integration, and your quadratics. And really interesting to note here on paper two in particular, a whopping 194%. So that says on average, on a particular paper to paper, there will be two questions on differentiation. Again, this is a very classical question, but it can appear in lots of different forms. So really do revise this. Integration is also very important, particularly at the top end with the grades, your A's and A stars. And you can see this is a very classical question here. We need to work out the area under a curve or above a curve. So make sure you practice this a lot. It's a lot of marks compared to some of the other questions we've seen where you're picking up two, three marks. If you can really nail your integration, they're going to get a whopping nine marks on a question like this. If you need practice on this, of course, then I've done some A-level maths videos that are very similar. You can check that out above. So again, you can see the percentages here. Again, it's really between this certain, so you can see these three topics are the most important. And then with lots of often topics appearing between 50 and 70%, and making sure you know those as well will put you in good stead. One thing I'd like to mention here is your optimization at 35%. This almost always comes up at the end of the paper. So again, I mean, for those top grades, don't forget how to do your optimization work as well. And if you're looking to make sure your additional maths is up to scratch and ready for the exams, then check out the video just in front of you where I go through over two hours, the top 10 topics you need to know to succeed and get those top grades.